Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to set up a simple uh, badge job. First, I'm going to click on my plate size. I want this to be 1.75 tab, 0.75 tab. And I'm going to say OK. So here's my inch and three quarter by three quarter. I want to put text in. And I'm going to put the frame text compose. And I'm going to put in line one. 222, 333, 444. Really doesn't matter what you put in. I know I want four lines. I'm going to swipe through this and I do want it maybe 0 0.135, 136, whatever size lettering that, that you want. Or maybe you do want 0 0.125, which is a good size. I'm going to select it all. Then I'm going to click on this icon that's the badges. And the plate size that I've got is 12 by 12 and I'm going to select score lines and I'm going to give that color P5 and I know there are 10 copies that I'm going to be making and I can select horizontal or non-horizontal now uh, I am also I noticed in your um, email that you wanted six and then four so I'd have to make my plate size let me guess at six by twelve let me make it five and I didn't mean to do that to get out of that menu let me go back here go back to badges control A go back to badges and what I also want to do is I want to put in point two five for a top margin I'm going to copy it paste this typically you want to do that all the way around and then you can also put vertical spacing in so just by luck I did get six by four but if I had changed this to six I clicked here you just don't want to hit the enter key because that's the OK key so using the tab so I'm going to change this back to five and now I get the six by four which is what you wanted. Now I'm going to select all three of these text items and I'm going to browse for the text and I have it on my C drive in a temp directory and it's going to be looking for a text file test file open and then I'm going to say okay this is the the text from that file and I click on okay and it has put that text in there now just for your information I had to modify your text file to be a tab file so if I go to temp down to test date modified where is it? it should be at the top or the bottom this is what that file looks like so it's a little different than than what you had sent each here's your label one line one then I, there's a, a tab spacing here so it was a little different than what you had sent me and let me go back to engrave lab and now this is what I would engrave and send now I would select only p10 to engrave and that and this is what I would engrave I would go to engrave output and I would click on this tool to send it to this engraver that I have set up here and then likewise if I clicked on On everything or I clicked on just this that would be the score lines that I can engrave so I if I clicked on output there's my score lines that it's going to engrave. now just so you know let me just click on the score lines and if I go to engrave and I'm going to break the path these are actually individual lines so here are the lines that it's creating so it's not making a box all the way around it um, well it, it is making this box around it that's one shape but these are all individual lines that it's engraving I think I can double click on it and I can see the direction of it of that particular one and I can also go into layout arrange um, sequence sequence by list and I can actually see the order that it's going to engrave it might be a little hard to see 
let's see this one this one this one you can kind of see as it goes around which one it would have engraved and of course I can control Z to take everything back to my original or I can do a redo and take it back to this level and this is ready to engrave and save usually I save the individual label which would be this label and then I also save this one where all the text is put in.